Hey guys, welcome back to Fashion Beauty Globe. Today's video, I have a tutorial, and of course, it's over this look. It's a very, it's a more muted down look, but it's still very dramatic. I wanted the main focus to be this pigment I have on my lid, which is Makeup Geeks Insomnia. So if you want to learn how to recreate this look, then just keep on watching. So I start off with the color Peach Smoothie by Makeup Geek, and I just diffuse it all over my lid with this big, big, fluffy blending brush. This is my transition shade, and I just wanted a lot of warmth in the in the look because I love warm tones and I will probably forever use that color as my transition shade. Then with the Morphe M441 brush I went in with the color Cocoa Bear and applied it directly into my crease. Diffused it a lot, did a lot of blending and just little by little adding more and more color. It's always best to just go in with a little amount of shadow and then just darkening, darkening it up with time. So yes, just blend, blend, blend. And then to darken up the crease even more, I went in with the, uh, the Morphe M200 brush and Max Embark. I began by applying this color in my outer V or outer corner of the eye and intensifying it there and then once I had that I went into my uh, into my crease and just applied it on my crease I didn't blend this color as much as Coco Bear if anything I don't know if you guys can notice but I blended it downwards instead of upwards I just didn't want to create such a dark look and you have to be careful with blending because you do want to blend but if you blend out too much it can just look really muddy and just dark and whatever so if you need to you can go ahead and reapply any colors I did reapply a little bit of cocoa bear because I, I was losing a little of the warmth then with a wet brush I dipped my brush in max fix plus I went in and applied the makeup geek pigment in insomnia I did however go in later with a dry brush and just pack down the product again and you just have to be careful with this product because it can create fallout and you know it can easily spread all over your lid so do take your time with that then I went in and highlighted my brow bone and inner tear duct I applied a, ma a matte shade first this is from the Laroc Pro Palette 2 in the color Buff. It's just a cream shade. I like to go in with a matte color first and then I decide if I want to add a shimmery color or shimmer. And I did. I added the color Beige in the same palette, which is just like a creamy, uh, like a golden beige tone. So, and that has shimmer, so I, it, it, it obviously illuminated the eye a lot more for this look I did decide to add a very thin short uh, winged liner I didn't go so dramatic with the liner I just if anything I just added it so you couldn't tell so I could blend out my falsies a lot more. I applied my falsies off camera because I can't master that yet. But they are the Ardell Demi Wispies. And then for my lower lash line, I went in with Cocoa Bear. Blended it out, girl. Blend, blend, blend. And on top of that, I applied Embark to darken it up even more. After that, I went in and highlighted I did have a found um, my I did apply my foundation beyond before this and I only applied like a light layer of foundation I didn't want anything super extra uh, full coverage but like I said I applied my concealer it's the Maybelline fit me concealer in the color San Sable I do have a more in-depth uh, contour and highlighting video if you want to see that somewhere 
in my channel. I'll try to link it, but I don't make any promises. <laughs> after that, I kind of went in again and blended that lower lash line because after the concealer, it can kind of look a little harsh. I set that concealer with my powder with my Anastasia, Be Anastasia? Beverly Hills uh, Banana Powder. After that, I contoured, girl, contour, contour and bronzed because, you know, it was looking a little uh, uniform and pale on the face and just bland. So contour all of the face and the nose, of course. Again, I do have a video. Then add some mascara on the bottom lashes. The lips are NYX's Intense Butter Gloss in the shade Peanut Brittle. Br brittle? Brittle? Peanut Brittle? Yes, I think that's how you pronounce it. And I just dabbed it on my lips, kind of to thin out the product. And that was it for this look. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to give me a thumbs up, subscribe, leave me down any comments below and other than that don't forget to love fashion love yourself and love life bye